Hello, everyone, and welcome to what will be my final Halo Legendary Crate unboxing video. And yes, I mean it when I say final. Uh, this is not necessarily the last Halo Legendary Crate that they're going to be doing, but it'll be the last one that I do. It'll be my 12th and final one. My original plan was to do a 12 month or 12 box, which is two years, so 24 months uh, worth of boxes. So this is my 12th and final box. I, I have seen that they have now extended the Halo Legendary Crate. I thought originally they were only going to do two years worth of these. They have continued it. It must be popular enough. But personally, I think I've had enough Halo merchandise and figures and stuff. But I'm excited to see the final box. Uh, this will be my last Loot Crate unboxing video too, in case you guys are wondering. It won't be the final unboxing video you'll ever see, just the last Loot Crate unboxing video that you'll probably ever see. Unless I decide for some reason to do this again someday. Um... Yeah, let's just let's just get into it. I don't really need to say any more, do I? Not really. Let's do it. Start with the files. The files are always how we kick these things off, man. We gotta know. We gotta know what our mission is. We gots to know. We gots to know. Because if we don't know the mission, then how are we supposed to be all excited about what we're about to do? All right. So immediately we have a photo of uh, this female old lady, Catherine Halsey. Uh, civilian cons civilian consultant for the naval intelligence. Sure, she's a she's a high risk as high risk asset. Uh, apparently, how do you get clearance to talk with me? If you interrupt work, this is some kind of like just uh, transcript from conversation that they're having with each other. Um, man, I don't know. I think it's just an interview that's going on. I don't really need to read all this. This doesn't really tell me what the uh, what the theme is either, so we'll just uh, we'll just get right into the, the good stuff, as they say, of the box to see what we're actually dealing with here in terms of theme. Let me just go ahead and slide my files back into their protective folder. The fine, the last and final case files you'll see from me, at least from the Halo side of things. So let's just go ahead and set that over there for now. And let's get into the first thing we see, which is a wearable, which seems to me like it's a t-shirt. All right. What do we got? What do we got? We got... Ooh. I like that vehicle. This is the Wraith. It's just a like a dark blue t-shirt. And it has the outline, blueprints, whatever you want to call it, of the Wraith vehicle. It's one of the Covenant vehicles. It's the, basically the big tank vehicle that launches big blue balls of energy that blow things up. I kind of love driving these things. The Wraith's kind of awesome. So that's pretty cool. I like that shirt. I like that. Very. I like the simplisticness of it. I, don't, I like when it's just like, hey, it's a picture of something from Halo. People will either recognize it or they won't. So that's cool. All right, next up we have whatever the hell this bunched up thing is, which is loud and crackly because it's in plastic, which is, which is some kind of bag or pouch or something. I guess it's just a bag. It's got a like a rainbowy color hue to it. That like this is a rainbowy kind of hue up there. I don't know what the hell that it's just just I don't know what this is supposed to be specifically. Oh god. Oh is this a lunchbox? This might be a lunchbox because it's because it's uh insulated. That's the word. Insulated. So this might be intended to be a lunchbox. I think so. Okay. I could see that being used like on camping trip or something. Like keep something cool, keep something warm, whatever, sandwich. Warm sandwich, cold sandwich, whatever kind of warm warm cold thing you got going on. Alright, that's cool. I like that. Next up we have oh god, another one of these kind of things. Oh this one might be cool though. So this little box, in case you didn't get a look at it. Um it says right on the box, it's actually an ice mold. But what's in an ice mold for? Well, first of all, it's a big purple thing. It's very round. It's perfect for an ice mold. Um, can't really tell by the inside, but this is actually a plasma grenade. So it's very round. Um, I like plasma grenades. Classic. Just this right here looks cool on its own. I don't even care if I can <laughs> put this in the freezer and make it a big ass. That's a big ass ice ball. Perfect for like a whiskey or a. Yeah, pretty much a whiskey on one big ass piece of ice. I can see that. Not bad. Whiskey on the rock. Big ass plasma mold. I like that. Okay. 
adds to the couple other molds that I have, like the 20 sided die and the. Uh, I have one other ice mold that I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so those are the three items we have besides the figure. The figure is always what we're here for, and this one, pretty neat. We have. Sorry, I'm just looking at what he's called. I don't know his name. Ah, oh, that's his name. He's the he's the prophet of truth. I don't know if you guys recognize him. Uh, maybe a better picture is the one on the back, so you can kind of see him close up close. Um, prophet of truth, classic character from Halo Two. I want to say maybe it was Halo Three, maybe both. I'm trying to remember what like game you last see him in. Um, because I know you fight him as a boss fight. I think it's Halo Two. I feel like it's Halo 2, because I feel like me and my friend back in the day when we used to play co-op in the same room, we fight this guy. And I'm, it has to be Halo 2. I need to play Halo 1 and 2 again, yes. Like, for the channel, co-op with somebody in the same room. That would be fun. Classic times. But until that happens, we'll just have to... Just, we'll have to be uh, satisfied with figurines from a Halo crate. Like this guy, the Prophet of Truth. This motherfucker stand out. I'm not missing anything, I don't think. Alright, so simple, easy peasy. Boom. Prophet of truth on a stand. Boom. Easy peasy. Shut up, plastic. Easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, well, he's, I mean, he's pretty detailed. He's small. That's probably the only thing I would complain about is he's kind of small. But otherwise, I mean, he'll fit right in with the rest of the figures I have. So, cool. That'll be my last figure, and I like that all the figures I got have been very unique. That's probably my favorite part about the figures. So all the ones I have are very different. The only ones that I think feel similar are the, uh, the I have two different Master Chiefs. I have one where he's, like, got that thing where he's getting shot by, like, he's got a bubble shield that's kind of falling off already. Um, and he's just kind of like, Ugh. And then there's another one I have with Master Chief where he's stomping on the grunt. Which, I actually like that one a lot, so I'm not complaining about that at all. Anyway, last but not least, we have the poster, and we have the pin, and it looks like, somehow, luck luck has fallen upon me once again, and I got the gold variant of the, the gun again, and this time, it's the plasma rifle, which is a, I think it's called plasma rifle. It's the, it's the, it's basically the machine, I call it the machine gun of the, of the Covenant, the one that most brutes carry around. I think it's called plasma rifle. Um, but anyway, truth foretold, that is the name of the... Um, theme. That is the theme. Truth for Soul, the last theme or the last, the theme for the last box that I'll be getting for Halo. <sighs> but anyway. Cool. I got lucky with the gold variants, man. I probably got half gold variants out of the 12 boxes. That's pretty good. Anyway, last but not least, we have the poster and of course the, you know, all the information on the back of it. But there's the poster, the last poster you'll see. It's a mixture of all uh, some of the villain characters. That's pretty cool looking, actually. I like that. All right. So we have the plasma rifle pin. Uh, yep. Add it to collection. Let us know if you got the golden variant. So the golden variant is the one that I got. So I'm pretty special. So special. We got the Wraith schematic T-shirt. So it was called a schematic. We got the Halo icons, Prophet of Truth. We got the uh, plasma gr grenade ice mold. The data drop files. The Covenant crate cooler. So it's just like a cooler. You don't necessarily have to call it a lunchbox, but you can put, like, drinks in it, and it'll keep them cool. That's... Oh, can I actually... Oh. Oh, my God. I just thought of things I could use this for. That's actually kind of awesome. Like, say you're going on, like, a rafting trip. You bring that, put some ice in it, boom. You got yourself a little, like, ice chest. It's actually kind of nice now that I think about it. I'll have to use it. Anyway, cool. Not a bad, uh, not a bad box to finish it off with. I actually like the t-shirt. The cooler, I can actually think of something. I don't have a thing like that already, so that actually I can think of a use for it. The ice mold is probably the least useful thing, even though it looks cool. And uh, and I like the figure. I always like the figures. And I got the cool variant, so lucky me. I always like the pins, too. That's gonna be This is going to be one of the things I'm going to miss the most about these Halo crates. This is obviously the figures, which I like a lot, but they're starting to get all the characters out of the way that I want to see anyways. I think I already looked and saw what the next... Uh, the next, the thirteenth crate's gonna have, and it's gonna have like another Master Chief kind of statue, I think. It's either that or some kind of Spartan statue, I can't remember. But then there's the pins, which I love. I love these gun pins, and there's still plenty of guns they haven't done a pin of yet, along with other symbols and shit they could do, other badges, uh, not badges, but the um, what is it called when you're, what is, what are the the things called when you 
Like, say, when you get an overkill in a battle, you know, like all the little... I'm calling them badges, but I can't remember what they're called. Achievements? I don't know. Whatever they're called for every time you do something in a match that, you know, you get an accomplishment for. I'd like to see pins for all those. Those probably already exist. I know they did the, the sticky grenade one, which I have that one. But all the rest of them have been guns and a couple other symbols. But I'd like to see pins of all the other ones, too. That'd be pretty cool. But anyway, that's it, guys. The final loot unboxing video you're going to see from me. That's it. And, uh, well, I'll just announce this here now because we probably won't see another one. The last FaceTime vid you're going to see in this apartment. Not ever, but in this apartment. Uh, because I'm, 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 I'm having to move out of this one. We'll talk about more on a different video or some other forum, but just wanted to mention that this will be the last time you see this backdrop behind me the way it is right now. Um, you may see some of the same pictures and things on the walls and, you know, figures over there, like, similar on my next setup, however I set it up. But that's how that, that's the last time you're going to see the background the way it is right now. So drink it in. Drink it in. All right. I'm done babbling for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the, um, the loot unboxing video. Hope you guys have enjoyed the loot boxing videos over the years. Those of you who keep up with these, thank you very much. And i um, sorry that we're stopping them, but honestly, it just feels like extra work for me at this point. That is unnecessary because not enough people watch these to make it. To, to me have to wait to take the time to record this and edit it and put it up and all that i'd rather just unbox the video or unbox the box when i get it and be done with it honestly so i mean those of you who really like these videos if you really want a petition for it feel free to try but for now this will be the last one um and we can talk about it later so yeah see you guys around peace